This conference will now be recorded. Yes, let us kick start the session. Thank you so much for joining for this demo session. I am Manasa Nasagram. I'll be the one who will help you for uh, the next uh, coming days learning. Uh, just give me a moment, please. Yes, I'm sorry for that. Okay, so I'll be the one who will be help, who will be training you for the next couple of days, and you will be traveling with me on your learning journey. And uh, uh, this is this training is uh, totally for recent Tosco automation training. And uh, let me take a session like uh, ten minutes, and then you can go ahead. Okay, uh, just couple more minutes. Uh, one minute. Someone is asking me to stop it. Just uh, We'll wait for one second. Okay. Let him join and then. Yes, now, yes, we can. Okay. So I hope uh, who are joined had little idea about what is stress it is. Stress it is, is an automation tool which will help us to automate all our test cases. So as this is a no-code train, a no-code tool, nowadays it, is, it has become very popular in the market. So even even if it is a, a what a paid tool, still uh, clients and uh, clients are asking for this tool because as it is a no-code and everyone everyone from manual testing can easily jump onto this present this Tosca tool. Okay. Yes. First, let us understand why Tosca. So, Tosca is nothing but a model-based auto test automation tool, okay? As this is a codeless approach, it literally anyone can learn. Like, if you're doing a manual testing, if you have five resources in manual testing, they can easily learn this tool and they can understand what is Tosca and they can easily jump, start creating test cases in Tosca, okay? So, that is why it has become very popular these days. And it, it has high re reusability, resilience, and even if you scale if you scale your test cases it has high scalability and it is now one of the market leading tools uh, in the present days and it could perform both functional regression testing it uh, it, it can also do api testing it, it can also do uh, sap testing it can also do salesforce testing so it has a wide range of uh, capacity and capability that is the reason nowadays everyone is opting for tosca okay and nowadays market demands lesser testing effects am i audible yeah am i audible right yes sir yes. yeah 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 so nowadays uh, market demands lesser testing effects so if they if they have to spend a lot of time client has to spend a lot of time in writing code and uh, writing um, uh, creating a framework everything it obviously takes like 15 to 20 days to start the project but when whereas when you use tosca right it, it is like a kickstart tool you can just simply uh, download the tool and then immediately if you have your manual test cases ready you can go ahead and start running your test cases okay so tosca user can write efficient test cases with minimum skill set so you don't need to have any any coding uh, coding knowledge before okay yes you just if you have manual testing concepts it is well and good even that few terminologies if you have it is better uh, you can understand more even if you don't have also i can help you on that okay it also generate test reports for the management so if your manager or your, uh, i mean if your lead asks you what is the report how many test cases you have created for this particular requirement okay you can easily say okay you can easily go and create a report and then show it to your lead saying that this 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 so this thing this uh thing you don't have it in your uh, other automation tools okay and tosca test suite is a software tool for automated execution of functional and regression testing most of the time it is used for functional testing and also for regression testing 
so if you see nowadays where uh, where the tool is going okay so these are the top most industries they are actually trying to use tosca in their projects okay so if you see in information not only in information technology they are also trying to use in banking transportation publishing automotive entertainment so these are different different types of projects they are trying to include tosca into their projects and they want to establish uh, tosca as a no code tool so now if you see technology and services has 35 sorry it is 45% financial services has 40 14% computer science has 8% these are the largest segments that are using tosca in their projects and coming to the countries yeah so if you see if you learn tosca tool you can gain uh, a position in anywhere of these countries either in united states germany india netherlands austria switzerland uk australia slovakia and canada and slowly there there are other countries also they have started using these tools like in the countries some of the projects are trying to use this tosca tool and they wanted to implement it in most of their companies so current trend is this and if you see yes even tosca has some of these competitors so if you see these are the top most competitors for tosca circle ci cucumber bitbucket pipelines robotic framework catlon and browser stack are some of this uh, technology market trends like competitors for tosca okay yeah uh, till here do you have any questions or you have any confusions you can just uh, call me out uh, now uh, the stage is yours you can just uh, go ahead and ask ask your questions we can take up 10 minutes of question each and then we can move on to the next uh, slides any questions any queries So everyone is good about uh, Tosca and you don't have any questions about this tool? Am I even audible? No questions. Okay. Okay, so we'll see uh, some of the uh, what is model based testing and what what are some of the top most uses of this testing. Okay, so it is like it is maximize reuse. Okay, you can build a module just by uh, scanning the tech by using this scanning technology and you can use that module across all your test cases. Like if you have one page where you can just simply get all the elements on the page and then reuse it for your test case creation okay so there is a concept called dynamic object identification you can identify the properties on your tosca with different properties there are four different properties you can use so with those all four different properties if you can uniquely identify them and uh, you can easily create your test cases and your test case will not fail in future okay these identification methods help us in making our module strong and you reuse in our test cases yes and we do have a concept called reusable libraries and test step blocks where uh, we can reuse, we can create one library where if you if you feel there are 10 to 15 test steps that are repeating uh, repeatedly uh, happening so all those reusable test step uh, rest, you can create them all under all reusable tester blocks and then you can create business parameters onto it and then you can start using this reusable tester blocks or libraries in your test cases and easily create test cases within no span of time yeah if you see verifying and validating your test case is very very simple okay so if you see here i just created uh, uh, i wanted to uh, check something so i just created the subtotal math and then i was trying to do some addition and then i'm just keeping the action mode as verify this 
सिंपल थिंग मेक्स माई टेस्ट स्टेप वेरीफाई एवरी थिंग ओके सो दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल इजी वेरीफिकेशन एंड वैलिडेशन yeah so tosca details uh, we have class uh, so this class timings is still not uh, uh, confirmed so we'll just we'll let you know once the class is confirmed but this batch is from uh, totally monday to sunday so total all seven days we have because i wanted to give uh, one week of break for everyone to enjoy their christmas and new year celebration so i want to wrap it up by 21st and every day notes will be provided and one assignment will be provided daily and at the end of this uh, training you will also get one tot one project where you have to do an end to end flow and the duration is 3 weeks within 3 weeks we'll uh, complete all as1 as2 and uh, you can also write api and database testing certification so if you if you are with me in this training you can complete four certifications which are very very necessary if you are trying to move to tosca right so uh, in the market they are, the standard uh, ask is as1 and as2 okay apart from as1 and as2 you can also complete api and database testing uh, if you are uh, joining this session okay any other queries about the class any doubts about the class details so are you going to prepare us for this exams yes yeah i I'll, i'll help you i'll help you write the exams helping in a sense i'll make you uh, i'll discuss all the type of questions that will be coming on the uh, exam a like as1 and as2 with that you can go ahead and uh, simply attempt the exam and you can pass it i will give all the necessary information for you to get passed on the certifications is it an online exam or do you have to go to a center and then take it i'm sorry I, i'm not aware of this so that's why i'm asking yeah yeah no no worries yeah it's an online exam i can guide i'll guide you in the step by step procedure how to enroll for the exam and how to complete your uh, uh, certifications So, and uh, within this three weeks right uh, two first two weeks will be as1 and the last one week will be as2 so by that time i complete as1 i'll give you a time period of three days so in this three days you can attempt the exam and complete as1 and also you can attempt as2 once i complete this total course so by the time you complete this course you will have your certifications ready in your hand and uh, thank you for that um so, and you also mentioned about the api right so yes. would you be showing us how to do the api uh, writing the api scripts yes yes i'll help you how to load your api and how to create your test scripts and how to run your test scripts if at all how to verify your test scripts okay thank you so much yeah no problem Any other questions and queries here? Yeah, hi, hi, Mala sir. So, uh, session is it cover uh, database testing using uh, Tosca also, or else uh, how it will be? Yeah, this database testing will help you to uh, understand how database testing happens in Tosca. Okay. So the basic thing. So if you want to do a database testing, you want to fetch something from your database and utilize it in your test case, right? So all those okay. things I'll help you. This database testing, I'll give you the information. Okay. and I'll, you will create some test cases for that also yeah any other questions queries Yeah. Oh, I guess I hope everyone is clear about uh, one 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 general question. I think it's not that much big. So, yeah. like, uh, how the market will be for Tesco? Uh, like, uh, attending an interview for calls. Uh, is it uh, comparing to other uh, automation tools for Tesco? How it will be? Yeah, that is that is the reason I have put up this slide as. This is a market. This is a growing, right? So you okay. get lot number of calls. That is why. Okay. So if you want to get calls, you have to project your profile that you have AS one and AS two certification in your hand. Yeah. So that is a basic necessity every project or every company would see for. So that is the reason we are actually stressing about AS one and AS two. 
Okay. Yeah. Is and there, there are validity got... for those certifications? Uh, validity, uh, yes. Uh, I guess it's three years. I don't remember exactly. I'll just get uh, check and get back to you on this validity of the certificate. Sure. Yeah. I don't think it get expired. But let me check and come back to you. Uh, hello, ma'am. Is there any certification charges for AS1 and AS2? Yeah, AS1 and AS2 is completely free. Okay. Yeah. You just have to enroll in the Tricentis portal and then you can go ahead and do it. I'll guide you with all those things, step-by-step -step things for you. And I'll help you completing this AS1 and AS2 exam. I have many students who have completed AS1 and AS2 and they are attending the calls uh, rapidly and they are telling that they have been placed with a couple of companies. So you said we have to take the, uh, there is a separate test for API and also even for the database testing, right? Yes, correct. Um, so is there a fee for that one or is it free? No, no, no. All four certifications are free. Oh. After this level, so in this tomorrow session, I'll explain you what are the certifications and all, how to do it. Uh, but uh, these four certifications are free. If you uh, go and explore in Tricentis, there are more certifications also you can get. But uh, according to our syllabus, these are the basic things that we are trying to get. Okay. Are we good on this? Let us move on to the next. Okay. So, yeah. So this is what actually Tosca is all about. So it's a model day, model based test automation. You can design your test cases. You can orchestrate. You can also do service virtualization from Tosca. And it, it supports multiple technologies. It has a last, uh, large LISC coverage optimization. Test data management is also possible. So with one tool, you can get benefit of all these flavors. Okay. Yeah, so those are, uh, you can also do API scan, you can do automate, you can also automate, oh, so if you want to record, like there is a record assistant which will help you to record all your test steps, you can do mobile testing, you can do distributed execution, you can do service virtualization, all those things is possible with one task. So basically the components of Tosca, there are four main components called commander, executor, repository, and wizard. When we are doing a practical, right, then you will, uh, you will understand these concepts more in depth. And if you see, uh, what is the difference with, so I've been telling about uh, Tosca is a model based, model based, model based, right? So if you see how model based and how is a script based. So this is all about model based. You can see only the text boxes and inputs. That's it. There is no, absolutely there is no code that you have to write. So it's like a zero uh, code. Okay. So if you see this is script based, one of the script that we have uh, created and you have to write like these many lines of code and you have to have the knowledge of how to use the coding language. Okay. So that is the reason it is called model based. And if you see only by seeing, you can understand how easy this tool is. Yeah. And coming to the differences, uh, there is, uh, if you see any automation tool, so nowadays currently everyone are talking about Selenium and Tosca. So I just, uh, uh, have few uh, differences that I have sorted out. Like, if you see, Tosca supports almost all types of applications like SAP, Salesforce, uh, service virtualization. Even if you have any command prompt like CMD, if you want to do some operations on command prompt or any black screen. So if you are working in any of the banking projects, right, you will you will have to log into the black screen first, then only then you can connect to the server and then you can start your testing. So all those things you can achieve it from Tosca. Whereas at Selenium, Selenium only supports web application, but uh, Tosca also supports desktop applications also. But only thing is, uh, Tosca is not a free tool. It is a paid tool. You have to have the license to understand what is Tosca. And Selenium is a free and open source software application. So automation type is model based automation and here it is a code based automation. So scripting, absolutely you don't need any scripting language. Okay. 
you just have to understand the tool end to end okay so that is the only uh, effort that you have to put to start writing your test cases in tosca but whereas when you have to do selenium selenium is associated with uh, java and python so if you want to do any programming you have to have the basic knowledge of what is java what is python how you write the code in your java how to write your code in selenium all those things okay scripting is not at all required for tosca it requires i told you right java and python c c sharp and all yes api testing is also possible in tosca in selenium it is not at all feasible it has uh, support uh, it supports a test data management tool with internal there are internal tool with tosca where you can save all your data so whatever data is coming from your test cases you can save it in the tosca data management and in selenium it does not support any test data management here you have a here you can reuse your test cases n number of times you have that feasibility uh whereas selenium it's a little uh, low compared to others so someone is unmuted can you please go on you okay, okay. and uh, ci integration tosca supports all the CI, so some of the ci tools like jenkins and selenium also supports most of the ci tools like jenkins so in with tosca you can integrate your qc equality uh, center or uh, jira we have an extra add in so whatever test cases all the status from your tosca only gets updated directly into your uh, alm and also to jira okay so there is no need for you to go and uh, just manually uh, run all your test cases in selenium it is possible uh, that third party dependencies are there and support presentis provo provides dedicated support for tosca with tickets and charts yeah you can uh, download charts different types of um, uh, like um uh, in the form of tickets or charts okay so those kind of things yeah and main thing with tosca is tosca has a dedicated team okay support team where you can interact with this tosca team there you can interact with them and get your things resolved okay so there is a forum also where they everyone uh, uh, if they have any issue using this tool if they are stuck somewhere they can provide their uh, inputs in the support.resentis and resentis team will help you in resolving the issue okay so that hand holding uh, help is there from tosca so suppose if a project is trying to implement your tosca tool so tosca present is tosca according to their feasibility and the requirement of the project from the company they also provide a dedicated team of two or three where they will help you in designing your test cases creation of test cases and if you are stuck in any of this these two people will be your point of contact uh and you can uh, any time you can ping them and say okay i'm stuck here can you help me out they will help you out so that kind of help you can get it from tosca but whereas in selenium you don't have anything you just have to google your query and you have to understand if someone has posted answer to it you can get that otherwise you have to struggle for your uh, answer and framework tosca has an inbuilt framework it's already uh, sub inside your tosca you just have to reuse it and selenium you have to create your frameworks i have already told there are lot of libraries present object libraries which um, concept you can use to create a large number of test cases like you have to create 35 40 test cases at one go you can first simply create one uh, library and with the help of this library you can reuse them like you can create 70 or any number of test cases out of that library uh here it last um uh, in selenium it does not have that opportunity uh, the scripts you have to individually create each and everything you don't have that concept of reusability yes and tosca has this reports you can create any type of report according to the tool so if you only want your requirements with your test cases you can download it if you want uh, test case only the test cases uh, report you can download it you can you want only execution list you can download it so whatever you want whichever report you want you can do it from tosca 
but in selenium it doesn't support uh, inbuilt uh, they don't, it doesn't have any inbuilt reporting okay yeah uh, tosca has very uh, fast uh, script compared to selenium as it is highly reusable you can easily create n number of test cases and you can just simply uh, have like any number of test cases within no time span of time okay so these are the main um, differences between tosca and selenium why to use tosca as it has very many advantages so nowadays everyone in the project are trying to move from tosca other tools to Tosca. So suppose uh, I have seen one scenario where uh, one of the project is using Selenium full fledgedly. They are trying to use Selenium, but uh, somehow uh, uh, the client has got this uh, taste of Tosca and then he started to move all the scripts which are there in Selenium to Tosca. Yes, in Tosca, you can also run your test scripts which you have developed in Selenium. You just have to import those test cases into your Tosca tool and then just run all your test cases with the help of Tosca tool. So that feasibility is also there in Tosca. Any questions, any queries? So this is a tool. I wanted to show you the tool and I want to show you the script, how it runs and I'll show you what, what thing did I write. So for licensing part, everything I can help you out. Uh, as this is a license tool, everyone cannot freely access it. We'll give you the software, we'll give you the license. I'll help you out how can you use those licenses and how can you install your Tosca. Okay. So this is a test case section where we write our test cases. And if you see, I've created libraries. These are the libraries and this is one of the registration page for one uh, url okay let me run this and i'll show you can see how fast my script will run so here that is the timer that will help you so if you see this is a page that i'm trying to write my test case automate my test case So if you have any issues, right, this is a red color pan that will come up. And if you see, yeah. I'm not writing any code. I'm just using what is there in it. It's, it clicked on register and now it's trying to write uh, something on the page and then it's just completed. So this is how it will create a thing and if you see my script, right? My script has very, very, very less information. So if you see my details, do you see any, any code that I wrote? So this is how easy the tool is. Okay. So this is what I wanted to give the information on today's call. So if you have any questions and queries, we can take up or we can wind up today's call. We can meet on tomorrow's session. Tomorrow we'll little uh, dig deep drive more about AS1 and AS2. And I'll also help you about a uh, few more concepts in Tosca. So when we will decide, like, ah, sorry. So when we will yeah, decide yeah. like what time yeah. we are going to start our training, or like the real one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my uh, team is actually working on it. Uh, by by end of this week, uh, before Friday, you'll get to uh, get the information. Okay. 
or else you can give the inputs so what will be the ur feasible time based on that the poll also we can uh, take up uh, the class on the timings i'm feasible for any timing okay yeah thank you yeah, yeah no problem any other yeah. questions queries this time works for me actually manasa <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll take a note of all the timings. Uh, right, so yeah. For, if me, everyone, for me also this time. This time is good. Yeah, if everyone is okay with time, we can go ahead with this timing. Or if you want me to shift to any other time, we can also work on it. That's not a problem. Because we want to do it as per your convenience. Okay, all right. Then we'll move on to tomorrow's session. Have a nice day. And bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.